It is uh, NAP 2016. We are here at the Sound Devices booth with John Tatulis. Thank you very much. And uh, we'd like to take a look here at their Pixie series of recorders and also a newer item here, the LR, which is an audio interface to those recorders. Great. Well, the Pixie series is a product that was born out of our original Pix 240. A couple years back, we came out with a product. It was an HD product and it recorded ProRes onto external SSDs. And everybody wanted, uh, we had great response in the product, but they wanted something smaller, they wanted something less expensive, and they wanted something that gave them more. They wanted more pixels on the screen, they wanted more pixels of recording, they wanted 4K. So last year we introduced the Pix E5 and the E7, and these products have been shipping for a little bit. And the E7 is a seven inch screen. It's a 1920 by 10, 1080 monitor. Actually, it's 1200, so we've got uh, 1980 by 1200, so we've got additional room for some of the uh, on-screen display. And, and as a monitor, it's a very powerful, very high accuracy screen that has the capability to record ProRes. And at NAB this year, just now, we've introduced H.264 recording in addition to ProRes. So you can record onto the speed drive which is the primary storage medium. And what's in here, this is a little drive that is an MSATA drive in, inside here. So it's an MSATA SSD. And when it connects to the device itself, it connects over SATA. When you remove it and connect it to a Mac OS or a Windows machine, those files are available over USB 3. So it becomes a mass storage <laughs> device layoff at USB 3 speeds. There's also, an S, there's also an SD card slot on both the E5s and the E7 and that allows you to record H.264. So you can record your ProRes, your master grade 4K files onto your speed drive, and nice H.264 uh, HD files onto an SD card. Quick question on the speed drive here. Is that something you guys produce, or is that a, it looks like something that's very specialized, and because it has that USB capability in addition to the MSATA? Right, the speed drive itself, the, the enclosure, that is specific to the, pr the products. So that's required for the recording. The drive itself inside, that's a commercial drive. So there may be a Samsung Evo 850 drive in here. So that's something that's available for you know, purchase independently of the enclosure itself. So it's so price effective at the same time as, as having that performance. Exactly. Um, tell us a little bit more. This is a newer item here that I don't think I've seen before, the LR. Right. Now the Pix E5 and E7 on their own, they'll take embedded audio. So you can take your STI or HDMI embedded audio, and you can also take audio from a eighth inch connection from a you know small little audio device. But we're sound devices, and we infused our video devices recorders here with very high quality audio. And the Pix LR is an accessory that bolts onto the bottom of any of the Pix E series. And it gives you full XLR inputs for micro line level and full XLR outputs for micro line level output. Very nice preamplifiers, limiters, high pass filter, phantom power, all of the things you would typically have in a high quality mic preamplifier. Wow. Fantastic. So, and then just like on your, your mixers and your recorders, are we talking about analog limiters here? Right, these are analog limiters, so you've got in independent gain control. So you've got a lot of the things that you would have in a little mixer right up front here. So you've got your level controls, nice big informative meters, and then LED indications of whether you have high pass on or phantom and, and whether the limiters are on. They look terrific. Well, John, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. You're welcome.